Hello guys, Solid Screamer here, and today I'll be reviewing The Fruit of Grisaya. This is going to be a rant. I try to see the good points of this anime, but this anime completely butchered the Vision Novel. I had already played the Vision Novel of this, and I was surprised that Anime Studio made an anime adaptation out of this Vision Novel. The reason being is that this Vision Novel is ridiculously long. It took me over 50 hours to finish this Vision Novel. That is 50 hours with me clicking quickly too. I was not a slow reader. I was curious on how they would adapt 50 hours of Vision Novel content into just 4 hours of anime content. I had a feeling it would turn out to be a disaster, and my worries turned out to be true, as this anime was too quickly paced. In The Fruit of Grisaya, the main character Yuji transfers into Mihama Academy. This school is very special in that there are only 5 other students besides Yuji, and they're all girls that have various issues. Yuji gets to know more about these 5 girls personally, and learns more about their dark past. He helps each girl with facing their dark past. Their issues aren't anything light, like them moving away. They are life or death situations. Yuji also has a dark secret of his own. He eliminates the trash of society. It is never easy to adapt the vision novel, but it can be done. Canon, Clanad, and Amagi SS did a great job at adapting a vision novel. The pacing in Grisaya was horrible. If you have to cut out some content or change things around, then so be it. But this anime studio just butchered some of the routes. It did a great job at adapting the common route, but the adaptation of the girl's route was a disaster. Whether you're an anime-only watcher or you've read the vision novel before, it should be obvious that Yumiko's route was horribly adapted. Her arc was anime original and was only one episode. That is unheard of. This anime built up Yumiko as this mysterious girl with a dark past, and you give her only one episode? Like what? So you can give Amane four episodes, but Yumiko only gets one episode. How does that make sense? It is pretty standard for anime adaptations of visual novels to give each girl four episodes. Even anime series are rush gives a girl at least two episodes. Because it was only one episode, there was no time for romantic development between Yumiko and Yuji. The drama occurs quickly and ends quickly. And you're left stunned, like, really that's it? That's her whole arc? The anime studio does it with Sachi as well. They cut out any romantic development she had with Yuji. The arc doesn't go into detail about her conversations with Yuji when she was a kid. And they changed the stunning event that occurred in her arc. This shocking event was changed. And the event that replaces it just falls flat. It isn't as exciting. I not like how Michiru's route was adapted as well. It just kind of left me in shock. Michiru had a quick flashback about how she really enjoyed meeting her best friend. And how meeting her changed her life. And then her best friend gets killed off quickly in the next scene. Are you kidding me? Was this anime trying to give me a laugh at this horrible attempt with a sad flashback? At least show Michiru hang out with the girl for several minutes. Showing a character and then immediately killing her off made me feel nothing for her. I'm not saying I have to dedicate an entire episode to her best friend, but I swear, it was as if this anime studio killed her off quickly for a comedic effect. Amani's route was surprisingly well done. They adapted the sad flashback well, but then the ending for her arc just left me stunned. Like really, you took the time to adapt almost all the important parts of a route, but you couldn't adapt the ending. Instead of an amazing showdown with a crazy villain where Yuji and Amani fight for survival, it's an episode where Yuji makes up a plan that conveniently goes 100% according to plan in order to take down the villain. Are you kidding me? Like a crazy person would be so polite to let a hostage go to the bathroom and then the hostage falls and breaks the urinal by accident. Like a crazy person would drink a water bottle given to him by a hostage, and not think anything about it. The fact that the crazy guy felt the need to use the bathroom right away after drinking the water bottle. Like what? You mean to tell me he had to use the bathroom immediately after just drinking a water bottle? Realistically, it would take him a while to need to use the bathroom, and he would kill the girls beforehand. I know this is anime, but I was dumbfounded by how unrealistic this situation was. A minus ending in the vision novel just felt more realistic. If the anime original ending was done well and felt realistic, I wouldn't have said anything. But in that anime original ending, it felt so unrealistic how everything just went according to plan. The only arc that I liked in this anime was Makina's arc. Now that was a great arc that did a great job at adapting her route and even improving on it. I liked her ending in the anime much more than her ending in the visual novel. Only adapting one route properly out of five routes is not good. They should have made this 24 episode anime series. They're going to adapt the other games in the visual novel series anyway, so why not properly adapt the first visual novel? I did enjoy seeing some of the sad scenes in this anime, as it really made me feel emotional at times. 
Seeing Michiro's cat die. Seeing Amaya's classmates go crazy while being trapped in the woods. Seeing Makina get chased by organization. All of those scenes were so sad and made me feel so bad for the characters. The music was on point in those scenes. This anime really had potential to be an amazing anime. It's a shame that so much content was cut out. This anime had really great comedic scenes at times that made me laugh. Seeing Yuji tease Amai at awkward times was really funny. He caught her doing perverted things at awkward times. It was funny how he acted so cool and calm under these awkward situations. I also like how he teased Yumiko and Michiru a lot. He had fun making them feel frustrated. Yuji was a great character as he always had a funny thing to say in an awkward situation. The romantic development in this anime was obviously poorly done. This anime just chose to cut out romantic development in favor of just getting to the drama. Yuji and Amane didn't even really have any romantic moments with each other, yet they became a couple right away in her arc. I know this is a harm anime, but even for harm anime series, you can have proper romantic development. In terms of the characters, they were amazing of course. Yuji was a cool and calm character that was never nervous or shaken by any situation. The way he tried to help out each girl in his own unique way was fascinating to watch. He is one of the best harm protagonists I have ever seen. Makina was a funny lolly that said rather rude things at times. Seeing a cute energetic girl say such rude things was so funny to watch. Michiru was a funny girl because she kept trying to act like a tsundere when it's obvious it was just an act. Amane was a funny dear dear because she kept acting like a pervert at times and seeing Yuji tease her about it was pretty funny. Yumiko was my favorite character in the show. She kept acting like a cold character when she was really shy and awkward. Sachi was a funny character because she really did act like a maid and complete ridiculous requests made by other people at times. The opening for this anime was just amazing. It had such a sad song and sad visuals that made you feel really bad for the characters. The ending of each episode was okay. The music was simply amazing. The best music I've heard for an anime by far. It had all these relaxing songs that made you just want to keep listening to them at times. And it had amazing sad songs for the more emotional scenes. The image style looked great. The anime studio made sure to have the girls look close to how they look in the visual novel. The girls look so hot like they did in the visual novel. The animation for this anime was well done. The characters moved naturally, especially during the few action scenes. If you really hate reading visual novels, and you will only watch anime series, then I still recommend watching this anime. As poorly as how the visual novel was adapted, this anime still did have its emotional moments at times that would make you feel really sad. The anime also had funny scenes of Yuji teasing the girls. I give this anime a 6 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.